In this mini lecture, I'll be talking about books and the changing library brand. We've talked about how the information profession's view of collections has changed, but what do our users think? In 2005, OCLC, Online Computer Library Centre, conducted a survey of information consumers in Australia, Canada, India, Singapore, the UK and the US about their perceptions of libraries and information resources. 70% of the 3,300 respondents indicated that they associated libraries with books. The proportion of respondents was so great that there were no other associations that could be considered as runner-up. Words like free, access and information were occasionally mentioned, but the findings were clear. The library brand was books. Five years later, OCLC carried out another study, this time restri restricted to the US. Given the rapid pace of technological change, increased availability of e-content and the rise and rise of mobile devices as well as e-book readers, you might think 2010 would see a shift in user perceptions of the library brand. Between 2005 and 2010, smartphone sales increased from US $8.4 billion to US $83.1 billion, evidencing an increasing preoccupation with mobile connectivity and mobile content consumption. And yet, the percentage of respondents who perceived the library brand to be books in 2010 actually increased to 75%. A lot has changed since 2010, and in the 2018 survey, some common services saw declines. However, these reductions were small in comparison to their general overall popularity. People still consider the provision of books as one of the most significant roles of the library. However, the library brand is broadening. People are increasingly seeing the library as a gathering space, a space for connection rather than collection. This has implications for collection development. It means that collections must be strategically expanded in ways that allow users to get their hands on the exact resource that they want immediately. It also means considering virtual or digital resources that perhaps take up less floor space than physical resources, thus freeing up the space of the library to meet these broadening needs for connection and gathering. This is also reflected in the desires of teacher librarians surveyed by Softlink, who included in their wish list for in their wish list flexible or mobile shelving, furniture, and layouts that were easy to move around. These were common items on the wish list, with comfort and vibrancy also featuring heavily in comments. For example, one teacher suggested that she would like a more relaxed reading space and a more central community space feel, and she felt that she could achieve this if she could shift the furniture around and the shelving so that it didn't seem like a place full of books, but instead a place full of people. Collection management is more than books, although they continue to form a large part of the library brand. Collections will morph and change to meet user needs. And this is what must always be central. The collection should be reflective of the community that it serves. 